Um, so anyway, I guess I'm not going to Dexville. <laughs> Alright, uh, cool. Mm. The hell is up with my luck? God, I hope my voice doesn't sound like crap. I mean, you know, it's not great. I've been sick for a bloody week, but... Uh, I would have loved to have recorded this early. Uh, that's a weird bit of debris. Oh well. Oh, by the way, um, in... In my new chronicles of Invaders the Dumb, you know it works really well? Anywhere where there's these suits, anywhere there the, if there's these suits, just fucking dress up in your Lothric Knight cosplay and sit down with rest. I mean, obviously facing them, but still. Invaders are really dumb. I mean, there's probably been times I've missed a host like that too, to be honest. Hey Albert, you're cool. I like it. I like the cut of your jib. Normally I just run past him, but you know, why not? Excellent plan. Deserted trousers. What that's two pairs, right? Pretty good poise. You know, poise to weight ratio seems alright. Especially if you're trying to squeeze it. squeeze in as much poise early as you can on a great sword on uh, what? A great axe ultra. Yeah, what was I doing? I had the Stone Great Shield and the Great Axe. I needed all the poise I could muster for that, but still. You can imagine my character was something like, you know, um, what, what are we on right now? Like, 12 Vigor and, you know, 38 Strength. Oh, you're back, of course. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 off. You gotta be careful there, because he can be a little faster. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna upgrade anything before Vought. That said, we are gonna head back. Alright. The guy behind me is a total dick, I'm just gonna put that out there. Yep, come on. That archer, oh well, sorry, archer crossbowman, loves to pull some bullshit shots off. You gotta be very careful of him. And I've also headphone, fantastic. Go to just take him out before the dog notices me. As you can see, as you could probably see. Um, yeah, oh, one just shot past me then too. Alright. Okay, go for another one. Come on, demonstrate please. Oh, that's curious. The enemy shooting through uh, geometry. Hmm. Good thing that doesn't happen in Lothric Castle in particular. In fact, that's the only area that happened here. To my recollection. Yeah, so there was a bolt there. It was, um, something. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be shitting on Lothric Castle a bit when we get there. That one room where the hollows know where you are, even with Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring and Hidden Body, is kinda bullshit. There's a few enemies in the game that just totally ignore stealth. I shouldn't have walked. I didn't mean to do that, my bad. Yeah, there's a few enemies that just totally ignore stealth. It's kind of weird. And, like, the stealth in this game is fairly rudimentary, but I still enjoy it. Oh, uh, while we're at it, we're not going to have the, uh, vitality for it, but... <laughs> accidentally weapon swapped, kinda. I don't quite know how to do the glitch, but I imagine that's part of it. Hey, did you know the Claymore's pretty rad? Pretty fucking rad. Oh boy. Let's see, what's our... Wait, yeah. This is my preferred Halberd moveset in all these games. The Chop. Which meant, you know, Dark Souls 2 Halberds were right up my alley. Don't know why I did that by accident, but um... Probably something to do with the touchpad being a shit. Yeah, so as you can see, 10 extra damage on the Silver Eagle Kite Shield. Mm, I don't know if I'll ever go that much strength, but still. Yeah. Nothing so far. Well, it's not even level. I'm just going to go talk to Leonhard up there. And let's get moving. Oh, I didn't even mean to come here. 
That was my bad. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell those. I'm not fucking using them, alright, dude. If I am, it's one summer mound maker. Fucker. I'll give you a sarcastic applause. It probably sounds like I've got some deep rooted psychological trauma from a red bullying me too hard, but honestly not really. Cause I remember the few times I was invading Dark Souls 1, what happened? There was the bullshit Nano Londo where I booted up the game on the PC original edition. Um, and I was being invaded immediately. That was kind of lame. But in Ulusil Township and Tomb of the Giants, um, I firestormed the fuck out of that guy. Out of those invaders. Oh, you shit. Oh, don't worry. We'll get into that. And how enemies don't give a shit about walls. That's kind of why I'm going for the whip, just a heads up. Because the whip is very good at exploiting this game's weird geometry hitboxes. I mean, it's all... Yeah, it's pretty good for the most part. It's just enemies' attacks just kind of don't give a shit sometimes. Let's see, will he get me? Roll onto that. Oh yeah, took off a dagger, of course. Well, well played. Well played, sir. One, two, up, oh, whiff. Alright. No, that's just a single. I'm pretty good at reading his tells, but I'm on the way to Vort. And then, you know, I've got to fight a ton of Lothric Knights, so I'd rather have all my health. Well, sorry. I'd rather have all my health for that one Lothric Knight. That will actually one-shot me if he hits me with his buffed weapon art. Ah, uh, strike sword. You fucker. Yeah, don't even bother with him, just run. They give up most of the time, and especially if you get up here. Because then you just do this. Wasn't going to put the dagger on because I'm going to fight Vort, but... Yeah, it's a little annoying that the mail breakers... Uh, well, what am I going to say? Mail breakers got some uses. I like it for what it is. It's not amazing, but it's pretty fun. And it saves you 300 souls. Come on, Jeff. Or just a shard, even. Oh, you gotta be careful for the final swing. Yeah. I can, I can attest that at a, at full stamina, at 40 stamina, with the uh, FAP level 3, the FAP 3, <laughs> um, 14 attunement is all you need for a full cycle of that. That's on my gun deer build. I've gotta play New Game Plus with him to get the halberd. The prisoner ring was way too useful to have. Oh, well, sorry. Way too useful not to grab. No full damage. Fantastic. That's how that should work. Beautiful. Accidentally baited. Hi! Hey, there's a summon down there. That's where I normally put mine. I was cosplaying as Manhunt... Yeah, cosplaying. Let's just go with that. I was, um... Dressing up my character as Manhunter O'Hara, actually. You know, an underrated summon. Sure, why not? Might as well, I don't need the help, but... And the Swordmaster, of course. I never got to try the old cheese, but oh well. Let's get, let's get my gestures sorted. We won't have point down because that's for fucking nerds. We need set. We'll have curl up there, and of course, we will eventually have... Now, if you were going to fight Dancer, well, apologies. Yeah, we're going to have my thanks, 100%. Alright. Let's go. Sorry, friend. This is the one time I'll actually watch the cutscene. I forget the Doom 2016 song that syncs up with this, but there's one of the earlier tracks. It works really well with Vought coming out, out of eh, out of the portal. And ignore the fact you'll be able to see through part of his helmet in a sec. Yeah, just there. Yeah, just kind of see through it. Oh well. Vought is cool though. Okay, that was weird. Normally he, you know, approaches me a little faster. Yeah, Vort can't really do much to punish. Yeah, yeah, he has that though. 
I was hoping to get through more of the fight before I talk about his weird hitbox, but oh well. There is some jankiness with Vought, to be honest. Still a good fight. Way harder than Taurus Demon for, you know, the first timer. Yeah, shut up. We have to get behind him. Well, you gotta be careful on that slam where he does the side to side. His back kind of... Yeah, his torso kind of counts as a hitbox, which is kind of annoying. And his legs too sometimes, so I got lucky there. Yeah, that's... No, that's a single. Dude, you gotta... Oh, well. Everyone saw you. On an LP. Ow, fuck. <laughs> We're without three viewers. That's lame. I'm gonna get less souls and they're not gonna get an award. A reward, what am I saying? Okay, can you go for the charge, please? I wanted the Bloodborne Visceral here, but I guess I'm not gonna get a chance. Yep. 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 Rolling back into him pretty handy, actually. Let's see. Oh, he's in the wall, fuck it. Oh well, if he had enough health, I could have gone for the Visceral, but fuck it. Let the voice of love take you high. Catch you later, Vort. It's been a bash. Ah uh, yes, the rare door opening animation. That we will not be watching. Well. Sorry, person that I summoned. Maybe five people saw you die. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't feel too bad. It happens to the best of us. The best of us and the blurst of us. So that's that's your power. Beautiful. Getting hit kind of sucked there. Lazy backstab. I'm not sure how to do the whole burrito backstabs and all that shit. I'm not very good at PvP. I prefer to just kind of be a guide if anything. Up, oh, yep. There's that weird poise. Come on, you fucker. Show me. Show the class. Demonstrate your fucking weird straight sword poison. Bitch. I say to the knight that actually tagged me. Alright. I preempted you. You I fucking knew you'd do that. Honestly, I found these Lothric Knights harder than Black Knights in one for a first time player. Which I know sounds weird as hell. But hell, I mean, I even find the Black Knights in this harder than one. Which I think is different to most people. It's just the weird, it's, they have that weird tendency the Silver Knights had in one. Where they just kind of twist out of back steps, a uh, back steps, sorry. Ow. You know, I deserve that, fair enough. Oh, hey, fuck you. I see. Beautiful. Hey, that's cool. I had a build where I played through most of the game with this setup. Obviously I needed some vitality, but this is pretty good. I got invaded in um, Demon Ruins like this, and this worked incredibly well in those tight corridors. Lots of fun. Also, yeah, I've got super sampling on. I didn't even know this, this was a bloody thing on a PS4 Pro, but there's something about the lighting in this spot that's always irked me. More so on PC, but it's happening now, I've got super sampling on. Oh well. Alright, don't die to this fucker. If he buffs with blessed weapon and gets that weapon art on me, I'm pretty much dead. Aha! Alright, come on. I want, I want, I want. Alright. You got greedy, Martin. Two. Ah oh, damn, I meant to go a little more behind him. Ow, fuck you. Yeah. That attack is a shit. I wish we had the kind of shield bash Lothric Knights had. That and the side would slap. Sideways slap. Alright, that went pretty alright. Refined gem, thank you very much. Probably not going to be too helpful for this playthrough, but what do I know?
Uh, wh what have you got to say? I'm gonna say try getting clipped through a fucking pillar by a giant ass sword. That's probably gonna happen. Alright, let's put it down. Now let's see, geography. Hey look. The rubble in DS2 is pretty shit, I'll be honest. But fucking come on. I know they don't actually connect, but you know. Also, I kind of want to point out, we got Lucerne, right? Hmm. Makes me think we could just fucking grab that ladder, huh? Anyway. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. Are you there to head for? It if then and what ice? Mm hmm She would have said something about Fort, but you know. Very nice. Yeah, in the original version of this game, in the beta stuff, there was a secret passageway instead. This just kind of collapsed into a staircase. But like, for fuck's sake. It's a bloody- Like, go free- Go kill three gods to lower a fucking ladder. Come on. Uh, sorry for sounding like I'm being rough on Dark Souls 3, but don't worry. Oh, don't worry, I've got plenty more gripes to share. I'm just gonna casually do this real quick. One, two... Hey, buddy. Oh, damn it. No, you don't. Alright. Oh, and of course, if you have Spook of the Silver Cat, nice escape route. I imagine a lot of hosts will just follow you off here, you know, assuming you're invading. Oh, this too, I always forget. This is a kind of an underrated little thing you can do. If you're trying to run from, like, some over-leveled, over leveled some fucking overpowered twink, who cares, just take that shortcut and roll like a madman so they can't clip you. Alright, 6.34. And this is almost an hour in total, including the sync test. Let's do this. Let's go say hi to y'all. Um, eh. I could go a little longer, but I probably should call it quits. Oh, damn, I meant to point out all the levels, including the town on the right that was kind of freaking out. I always forget how big the pauldron is on the, on the default night set. You know, that weird town over on the right, you can see it, you could see it just then. That's never used, it's kind of odd. It is cool you can see pretty much the entire game map, except for that place, shrouded in fog. Sorry, in mist. Ooh, how spooky. And, you know, secretive. Ah, uh, but, you know, whatever. The fact you can see Arc Arch Dragon Peak's pretty fucking rad, though. Not from here, but still. So. You yeah, know, in like, a few parts. That's my favourite place to invade in this whole game. Man, Cathedral's so fun to invade as a sniper. Because here's the thing, like, I'm going for a tiny bit longer, I'm just going to grab some stuff. Um, I'll, I'm going to farm some Titanite and maybe some weapons in between sessions, just cause. Yeah, I'll maybe go like a plus one at most, but I'm not going to over level or anything. That, that can't take the fun out of this. Um, but yeah, like, I worked this out quite a while ago. Oh, that's very handy, by the way. Here's the thing, if you want to play an underleveled invader, but you don't want to go full, you know, try hard and go to the Ring City, Abyss Watchers are the only conceivably difficult boss on the route, on the way um, up to Sullivan. Because here's, here's my normal route, playing casually, and I'm kind of going to do it here, I guess. Kill Vort, ignored Great Wood for later. Go kill Sage or Abyss Watchers, depending, you know, after taking care of all three invasions in the swamp. Um, that's, that takes me the longest. Oh, oh, we're seeing some bullshit already, fucking dogs. Um, 
Crystal Sage isn't hard, Deacons aren't hard. Nothing about Cathedral is particularly tough other than that, you know, gauntlet. Um, from the graveyard onwards, that's a lot of fun. Fuck it. Let's go. I'm just gonna grab the stuff in the way. Visions of Giant. Oh damn it, I'm a little late. Because sometimes Pitchfork fucker likes to clip through the floor. About half the time I catch him walking out through the steps. It's kinda weird. Um, yeah, sorry. Continue with my point. Gotta kill Vaughn. Okay, how terrible. Um, skip Greywood for later. He's helpful for when you want to have Greywood uh <laughs> Grey Rat pillage. Oh, I've gotta get him by the way. Huh. I'll go get Grey Rat afterwards as well. We're just going to go to where Hodrick is, effectively. I'll fight him another time. No, you don't. Um, yeah. Sorry. Vort, skip Great Wood. Go to Abyss Watchers or, um, Crystal Sage, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, Walnir is a joke. Deacons are a joke. Fun jokes, admittedly, but still, they're not very tough. Um, fucking Pontiff Beast on the bridge isn't very tough. Sullivan's a bit of a dick. So instead, instead of all that, what you do is send Grey Rat out immediately after getting Seagwood out of the well. Come back, Merc Great Wood. You can go to Irrefill Dungeon and get effectively 40,000 souls from Kill and Yorm. It's pretty easy. Like, Yorm's not hard unless you really want to fight him the hard way. On purpose, but I never do that because I don't want Sieg to die. Eat shit. You gotta be careful because that explosion lingers a little... It's kind of annoying. But yeah, like, between Abyss Watchers and Pontiff, there is nothing hard in the game. And Abyss Watchers aren't very tough, to be completely honest. Yeah, I was gonna let it have that. Come on, Doris. More worried about him than you. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful with these guys. I've had to do a 180 and get me somehow. Like, I was behind... Oh, yeah, that too. You gotta be careful on, the, on their wake up. Because they'll land on you somehow. Come on, Spike Mace. Damn it. Oh, if only. That would have been way too lucky, bro. Still, some of the set would have been cool. Oh, you fuck. I saw your shadow, but... Yeah, I wanted to get rid of him. Yeah, like, honestly. Abyss Watchers aren't even that tough once you learn how to just backstab them. Which will not be a problem this playthrough. I think. Yeah, like what, the demon here is arguably harder than most enemies because it can two-shot you very easily. Um, everything else is kind of a joke, up to Pontiff. And even then, I know Pontiff can be parried if you're a god, but I'm shit at that, so, eh. And Aldrich is... weird. In the context of, it can be a pretty fun boss, or it can be a fucking terrible slog. Have I got some contingency plans to just, you know, teach him a fucking lesson? Because the very first time I fought Aldrich, um... Well, it was an experience, that's for damn sure. We died at the same time, but it counted. So I spawned into the dancer's arena, um... Back with our dear friend, um, Emma. And I died. So that was cool. Definitely a weird thing I've never seen replicated, but hey. Fucking arrow rain. Hey. Okay, we got the trousers. Cool. The worker set is very good if you're an invader. Would you believe dark, earthy colors are awesome to blend in with, with the environment? Because hell yeah, they are. Especially if you're a sniper. No, but seriously, like, this... Yeah, they have some... The hitbox isn't shitty or anything, but they are very good at getting that hit in. One, two, gotcha. Hey, charcoal, me. We need one more point to use the whip. Roll. Man, if only our Norse could track like that. If only. Might be actually fucking usable. Twelve, sick. Oh, we can already get a plus three. Now if I go back and kill the dragon, that could be a plus four. Fantastic. Could this be a poor soul? We will soon know if it's Doris's power. I'll be 13 shots unless she gives me anything. Let's just back up and grab it. 
All right, come on. Damn it, partial parry. Oh, this is this is a problem. You coming down? Yeah. Um, if it's not incredibly obvious, even though you know, to be fair, it can take a second to realize. Yeah, these guys are the fat ministers from Demon Souls. They're wearing similar colored armor. They've got like the sim that samey kind of chest piece. They've got great weapons. They cast magic. Yeah. Could be a bit of a tenuous comparison, I know, but I feel like it's pretty spot on. We'll get Sharp Gem Chan later on. It's fun to land on this bonfire. Doesn't do anything, it's just kind of fun. Ah, oh, fine, fuck it. Let's go. I'm not going to fight him, though. We're just going to do... My pattern and strategy of this. Yep. Yo, Hodrick. You gonna follow? You see, what you want to do is... Bait these idiots. Both preferably, but, you know, he might be a little slow sometimes. Because we got the white branch as a starting gift, we don't need to worry about the giant hitting us, so we just do this. Oop. Yeah, Manservant's walking away. Hodrick's not going to follow us immediately, but... Where is that fucking thrall that hangs off? Can't see him. Freak. He's a real jerk, that one. Alright, just him. Okay, he's dead. Fantastic. Any armor for me? Oh, yeah. And it might, I might as well point out... Yeah, they're just kind of the uh, phalanx spears. I'm not going to complain, that's cool. Reinforced club, pretty bad weapon in this game. My Womo Shinderu. I get fucked. Yeah, I pronounced that badly on purpose. If you've watched this shit, you know I can Japanese a little better than that. Just a little bit. Come on, Flampersh. Well, I'm keeping this recording session. Holy shit. Well, I guess we'll be rocking the flamberge for a while because that's fucking rad. Yo. Manservant Chan. If only we had 14 decks. I'd two-hand the hell out of that right now. These guys have poise for days. That said, you know what breaks poise? Fucking giant arrows. Radio. Let's go a little further. Yo, Hodrick. What's up? Come on. Alright, come on. We'll, we'll fight. I'll try to fight you a little. Ah, oh, missed. Okay, gotta go for the R2. Come on. Watch out for the parry god, though. Come on. Come on. Come on, you shit. Alright, come on. I think I've baited him hard enough. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now, Hodrick isn't the smartest tool... Oh, sorry. The sharpest tool in the shed, I, su I should say, I suppose. For dank meme points. Um, he... Uh, the giant won't shoot at him. But Hodrick has his moments. I'm hoping he has a Hodrick moment any second now. Hey, they don't stop coming, apparently. Oh, get fucked, Hodrick. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna run up, kill this guy, get the scythe, open the doors. And then I'll probably... I'll head back, do the other doors, get Cornix, we'll call it quits. Other than... Oh, yeah, there's nothing here. What am I thinking? It's not Cinders. What was there, a heavy gem, I think, in Cinders? It's probably changed by now. I haven't played for a few months. The Convergence is also a fucking great mod. I'm just going to put that out there. Druid magic, you know, just a little broken. I think, still, maybe. But, yeah. Yep. No door ahead. Yeah, if only. If only that was the door to the catacombs. 
I do wonder though, like how what would have happened with the Abyss Watchers in the full game? Maybe Farron Keep would have been way tougher. Cause a bit because the deal is where the uh, Mount Maker Shrine is was meant to be the entrance to the catacombs. So I guess the Abyss Watchers would be an end to a path. Back when the bridge was a little different. Don't know if that fact is in God's grave or anything, but still. Really conceptually cool area. And the fact Osiris, as we know him now, was called Dragon Angel. Really fucking rad. Really cool. Man, that weird moment where you find out that Osiris was a fucking Bloodborne boss that was cut. And then that weird hitbox makes a lot more sense. <laughs> oh, that fucking charge. Oh. Two frame startup charge. Alright, come on, buddy. Let's go. We've got to go all the way around. Uh, I wasn't going to do this whole part, but fuck it. Hey. Alright, what you got? What the hell, what you want me to say? I won't lie and I can't deny. Oh. Fuck this, bye. I'm, I'm not, I ain't bothering with this. I'll find me a shit another time. Spike Mace, one of my favorite great hammers in this game. Very fun weapon. I love all the weird mix-ups you can do for spin. I know it's got the inbuilt R1, R L1, R1 combo, but eh. I like I like weird stuff like R1 spin into jumping attack. It's pretty fun. Not a guaranteed combo, of course, but still. A lot of fun shit you can do with that weapon. Second favorite great hammer would be Morns. Boy, sure would be cool if I could use that by the end of the game. Cough. I'm going to change builds up a little bit. I might go a pseudo faith build at one point. Because of how much I fucking love Morns. Ow. What a shit. Hey. Bitch. Alright, we're just going to run this. I ain't, I'm not in the mood. Alright. Roll, roll. Okay, 5R1s are all we need for him. No, no item. That's fine. Avoid them. Charge R2. Avoid you because I ain't bothering anymore. Was that a frawl? It sounds like he's coming for me. Sounds like it. Who knows? Gargoyle flame ha um, hammer isn't very good, but boy is it fun. Fucking flamethrower hammer. What's well, not to like, am I right? If only- oh, there you are. I fucking knew it. I hate these guys. <laughs> not like, completely hate them, but boy. Boy, do they get annoying sometimes. A little overused. I forget, did I get the, did I get the Kukri? Hold on. Yeah, I did. Alright, we can just run. Fuck you. Alright, this is going to end kind of on a limp. Ending, I guess, is the best way to put it. We'll deal with fucking BS Knight next part. We'll join the Mound Makers next part too. We're just going to go say hi to Cornix. Going to go get Grey Rat and call it quits once we have a chat to Yol. This should be about two or three parts. Seems good to me. And if we're lucky, we can get random in time. Yep, bingo. I'm definitely using Flamberge for a while. Flamberge is weird with how awesome it is with Raw, though. Raw infused Flamberge is fucking rad. I think it's kind of like the Mace in the same regard where... You've got to get to, I think it's, it's, I've, okay, you actually fell this time. He's been doing that a lot more recently. He normally doesn't. Come on, Frawl Hat. Not because I'm a fighter PL fanboy or anything. Kind of the opposite. Um, roll. Okay, you didn't notice us. That's, that's rare. I can't take this. Oh, wait, yes, I can. I'll never use it, though. Yeah, the Flamberge is kind of like... I'm going to get now, don't worry. The Flamberge is kind of like the Mace, which I think it's at 27 or 28 strength. Ow. 
um, Heavy Infusion finally beats Raw. So, you know, if you're playing a Cleric, no need to heal, but no need to take a risk at this point. If you're playing a Cleric and decide to go strength, half strength at the end, you're just going to be pouring in heaps of points. Is it me? Because no, there's no invisible hollows, if only. That'd be fucking cool. Yeah, um, you've got to get to pretty high, almost 30 strength for it to be any, any better. And even then, the flamberge is kind of similar. I mean, you might as well just gouge your other stats. Very good for an elemental build too, I hear. For buffing and for infusion. I used it on a hollow build for a while the other month. It was pretty good. It was on my character, Fortunate Son. Do you get it? It's a, par it's, it's, it's a reference. And a pun. Haha. <laughs> hey, best guy. Hey, best axe. Nah. One of them. I fucking love this little thing. God, it's so handy on my paros. No shit, of course, but... Definitely a nice uh, secondary to the Witch's Locks. My fa one of my favorite weapons in the game. Big surprise there. Oh, by the way, be careful. If you drop from here, you'll just fucking flip. You'll fucking bounce off to your death. It's fun. You'll fall into the Hemwick fog. Alright, let's go save Grey Rat. And do all this in one go. Cornix, best man, of course. Carla, best girl. No shit, of course. She's not quite Quilana or anything, but, you know. Hard to be Quilana. I mean, she's, you know, daughter of a fucking god. What do you, what do you expect? I mean, she's basically just Yuria Mark II. Who, if, who you've seen if you watch me play Demon Souls last year. The original, not the remake with the shitty art stuff. No, no. Eh, I'm not a big fan of the art style, to be honest. Blue Point are very good at graphics. I'm just not sold on how it looks. And also, you know what's a fantastic bug to have for a, um, for a Souls game? Making it so you can't delete individual characters because of the PS5 save architecture. Boy. I genuinely hope someone got fired for that. Not Blue Point. Someone in Sony. I hope someone faced some repercussions because what the fuck? I don't know. I, I'm, you know, I was going to say this initially, but I've kind of forgotten it till now. Hey, cool to see that Elden Ring leak. I mean, I didn't need to see it. I'm quite content to wait as long as I need to. I, it's going to be good. I'm very happy to see it. <coughs> Based on how it looks, though. Ah, hey, Grant. No. Uh, yep. I'll put it on for a tiny bit, perhaps. Yeah, but based on how it looks, it visual, visually and conceptually looks like Dark Souls 2. Which makes me worry a little. Um, because we could have Dark Souls 2 all over again, where it's kneecapped because it's being made for this current, you know, well, the previous generation and this current generation. I'm going to buy both keys, get the shit done with. Or we'll buy some fire, I guess. Um, I'm hoping the lighting isn't going to go for the same issues that happened in DS2. Um, that said, it's nice to just see something. But at the same time, if Elden Ring is on, well, you know, PS5, they better fix that save bug. Because fuck me, I ain't dealing with that shit. Well, I, I know it's not even a bug. It's just someone didn't think it through. Um, to clarify it, so people, in case people don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, yeah, you know, there's, there's a good chance there are people, if anyone's actually watching this. Oh, grabbing that eventually, don't you worry. Bastard sword all day, baby. Um, PS5 has a weird save bug, where, well, has a weird choice in the save architecture, where it makes it so, instead of deleting individual save files, you can only delete the game's base save. So, like, if I wanted to delete... I've got 10 characters now with this guy, right? If I wanted to delete, say, my Pyromancer, my main account, in Demon Souls, I would have to delete all my save data. Yeah, don't know about that. That seems like it's a bit of a... Bit of 
probably not a great not not a great thing. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. All right, lot of stuff there, but we're not going to be talking to him for ages. But anyway, that's most of this shit done. That went well. I'll be doing some farming in between, just to demonstrate. People undervalue this attack. R2's for days. But yeah, anyway, we're done. Catch you later.